Thirdly, we to guard our hearts. Guard our hearts. So these are commands. Guard your heart. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. Above all else, and again, the, the writer is talking about all these different things of fixing your eyes and walking this way and making sure your feet do not slip. And then, then the writer of Proverbs says this, But above everything, above all of this, guard your heart, for it's the wellspring of life. Another, the New King James Version says, Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it springs the issues of life. The New Living Translation, I like to just bring a couple of other translations to just make the point here. The New Living Translation says, Above all else, guard your heart, for it affects everything you do. And the message, Eugene Peterson's message says, Keep vigilant watch over your heart. That's where life starts. Again, so we're talking about courage here. And the command we've been given is to guard your heart. You know, the heart is used in Scripture as the most comprehensive term for the authentic person. It's the part of our being where we desire things. The desires that drive you can actually become the demons that drag us down. So be careful what your desires are. But that's what the heart represents, where we desire things. It's also where we deliberate things, where we make decisions, where we we deliberate and we we, we kind of uh, contend for what we're going to do. Friends, that's the heart and that's what it represents. And then obviously it's where we decide things. Someone said it's been described as the place of conscious and decisive spiritual activity. It's the comprehensive term for a person as a whole. It's their feelings, their desires, it's their passions, it's their thoughts, it's their understanding, and it's their will. The place to which God turns, what, is our heart. And we've been told to guard our heart. Why? Because it's there that character is formed. It alone holds the secrets of our true success. It treasures our prices, but we know they can be stolen. It's the center of your spiritual and moral life. The heart is so powerful. And that's why we've been warned to guard it above all else. But the truth is, if we can often be quite careless about where we let our hearts go. And we allow others to control our hearts. Don't forget this. Whoever controls your heart controls you. And so for us, the command is, above everything, guard your heart.